Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a discussion video, something a little bit different than what I normally would do. This has been a video that I've been wanting to do for a while, and the title is Validation. What is validation? To make valid, substantiate, confirm. So basically, it's to make valid, confirm. So, validation is basically confirming something about yourself or something in general. So we're going to talk about validation with being a female. Validation from a man is so unnecessary and you should just be able to validate yourself. But some women grow up and don't really have a father figure or a good father figure in their life and so that validation, that male validation is really lacking. When your male validation is lacking as a young girl growing up, you know, as you get older, you have that empty piece of you and so you go looking for it. And this is definitely a personal story kind of about validation and my journey with validation. So uh, me and my dad are not very close. We really haven't been I don't know, it's just, you know, we're just two different people. He wasn't there for me in ways that I needed him to be emotionally. Um, you know, I missed out on a lot of validation. And my dad's a little rough around the edges, a little cold. So I never got what I needed from my dad. Like, I wanted to hear, you know, I love you. You are special. You know, you're good. You're good at this, you're good at that. And I didn't get that growing up. I got it from my mom. My mom constantly validated me. But as far as a male figure, no. My dad never validated me in any which way, shape, or form. And I feel like a lot of women can relate to this having either no dad, a man absent, or having a dad that isn't giving you what you need. So when I got older, you know, guys would compliment me and I didn't even believe it. You know what I mean? Like, I didn't even believe and they'd be like, oh my God, you're so beautiful. You look so unique. Like, I didn't even have that confidence because I've never had a guy or a male figure validate me. So when I was getting validated at like 18, 19, I was like, I don't believe it. Like, he's just saying that. Like, I literally didn't think I was pretty. Like, I had no confidence whatsoever. So, so eventually over time of hearing it from many guys, obviously I gained confidence in myself and I am thankful for that. However, I really wish I could have looked myself in the mirror and validated myself before I ever would have gotten it from guys, if that makes sense. So to anybody who's watching this who feels how I felt when I was 18 or 19, look yourself in the mirror and tell yourself you're beautiful. Tell yourself you're unique. Tell yourself all the things you didn't hear and I swear it'll be so much better than having a guy, like having a man need to validate you because you don't need a guy, any male to validate you. And along with validation, let me just say that getting validated beauty wise is something that so many women want and crave and it's so obsolete and so dead. You know what I mean? To just give someone so much validation. You're so beautiful. You're so gorgeous. Like, take it from somebody who's heard it so many times. You're so beautiful. You're so pretty. Love this. Love that. And it's all physical. And I never, ever get the compliment like, wow, you're so creative. Wow, you're so intelligent. Wow, you're, you're anything but physical. It's always, damn, you got a great ass. You got a nice rack. You got a nice body, which is great and everything. But it would so be nice to just hear, wow, your brain is so intelligent. And to have like those parts of me validated versus having just like the physical appearance of me be validated, if that makes sense. So I just wanted to talk about validation because so many women are craving that validation of beauty, validation of looks, validation of skinny waist, val validation of ass, tits perfect features, you know, looking like a celebrity. And at the end of the day, that shit fades so quick. And what we really need to be validating is our intelligence, our skills. Um, there's so much that you can do as a female 
other than physical looks, modeling, whatever the case may be, and like put it to good use. Like do something with your brain. Use your brain. Don't use your beauty. Your beauty can only get you so far and one day that shit is going to be gone and then what are you left with? Validate your brain. Validate your creativity. Validate your talent. Whatever that may be. Make that known to the world. Stop putting out this and start putting out whatever's in your head. I've just begun to dig into my other sides of me that I didn't even know I possessed. And you know, I'm not knocking girls who are models. I'm not knocking girls who are Instagram models. I mean, I post tons of selfies as well, but this is just something that I've noticed over time of being validated with my beauty got so old. You know what I mean? Validating, validate my brain. That's something I never even got growing up from my dad was validation of my intelligence, validation of my talent. My dad never did that either. So, you know, I think it's more important to focus on those things rather than the exterior. It's the interior that matters. Like I said, I've just begun to delve into my more creative side and I've picked up on something that I used to love to do when I was younger, which is writing. I used to love literature, writing, English classes, and I'm back to writing and I have to say, it's amazing. I kind of forgot like how much I enjoyed writing. That's just an example of like validating a talent. If you have a talent, don't let it go to waste by you know, focusing on the exterior. Let's focus on the interior. That is my little video on validation and that's just what I had to say. It kind of made no sense maybe to a lot of you, but to somebody, I hope that you can connect with this video. You know, it's good to be validated, but it's also good to be validated for other things other than your looks. So until next time, I will see you guys very soon in my next video. Bye guys. Have you ever met any celebrities? I've only met one, which was Ryan Cabrera. I had like a meet and greet quickly with him and I pretty much died because I used to be obsessed with him. Have you ever played a practical joke on anyone? Yeah, for sure. Me and Adam prank each other all the time. So we left the mall and I didn't buy anything at Ulta. I actually went to Hot Topic and got some nose rings. And that's it. And then my mom went to Ulta and she got a shampoo and conditioner and some heat protected spray.